Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to FunshineX Plays Space Engineers. Well, they went and did it. They released another huge patch, and just like the Empyrean patches, it requires you to start a new world or do some finicky creative stuff, which I don't really want to get into. So, uh, just like that, we're starting Season 2. We didn't get much done in Season 1, of course, um, but I'm going to try to get this uh, more common. I'll, I'll put out episodes more often. Um, and we'll check out planets. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the world creating. I'm on survival, save, world generation, star system. There we go. So, three planets. An Earth-like, a Mars-like, and an alien. Each of them have moons that you can go visit. We still have asteroids generating. And we're gonna start, uh, in this particular scenario on the Earth-like planet in a, a lander that uh, we're going to attempt to not crash. As you can see, we're about to if we don't do something. So the first thing we'll do is kind of align with the horizon there. That should keep us um, at the current altitude we are because we do have dampeners on. All right. Yeah, where we go. We're hovering along a speed of 13 meters per second. Perfect. Let's take a look outside. So hit V here and take it all in. Oh, my goodness. These are beautiful. Look at that. The sun. We've got another planet up there. We've got some asteroids that we can see. Oh, it's awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> I really like this because space is fun, but it's just, I don't know, it seems better to, to start on on the Earth and work to space. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work for it, right? So let's, uh, let's talk about this planet as we kind of fly. Let's see, we, we, there's no water on planets, so that's just a giant thing of ice. Um, I'd like somewhere that's kind of flat so I can experiment with a rover or a wheeled vehicle, basically. Um, so I'm thinking if we set down by the lake, we should be able to drive down this whole valley here into that uh, area. Those mesas up there would be pretty cool to explore. So yeah, let's let's try and put her down right by this, uh, this water here. Um, you can see on our ship we've got new thrusters. These are called atmospheric thrusters, and they only work inside planet's atmosphere. Am I really going to try and land at night? Oh, man, this is not going to be good. Um, do we have a light? No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it would work at this temperature, or altitude anyway. Um, so, yeah, I've got nights and days set to 20 minutes, so I've got 20 minutes of no light, and I'm going to try and land this thing. This is going to be impossible. So I'm moving now at 104 meters per second. As I was saying, these atmospheric thrusters, um, I can't even see where I want to land. Is that a big mountain I'm about to hit? <laughs> they they only work in the atmosphere. They work off um, just energy, pure energy, no hydrogen required or anything like that. <coughs> and um, the big ones are used mainly for lift. And then you've got the little wimpy ones, which kind of give you some, you know, directions on side to side. But they're really, they're really weak. They don't give you much power. So the best way to fly this thing is to actually tilt it forward like a helicopter. And then hit forward and you'll actually get those main thrusters, you know, accelerating you um, forward. And then if you want to brake, you just pitch straight up and the things will just slow you to a crawl like instantly. See how we went from 100 meters a second to 12 um, okay, well, let's just head down. Um, why can't I head down? It's just, there we go. Oh, I can. I think I saw the water for a second there. No, oh, oh, how high are we up? Oh, 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 we're gonna crash. Nope, oh, stop, slow down. Okay, that was really close. <laughs> let's see, 166. Can we land in the darkness? Let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see maybe something. I'm not seeing much. Oh, we got ice under us. I think we are actually on the lake. And three, two, one, touchdown. Nice, <laughs> we landed, okay. So let's go ahead and get out of this thing and check what's inside our ship. Uh, let's go ahead and why to turn everything off. So inside our ship, we've got uh, the captain's chair, a few things that are telling us kind of our objective or uh, uh, things for this uh, uh, scenario, whatever. Um, ice for oxygen and hydrogen, survey for ore deposits. We don't really need oxygen because we're on Earth, so they mainly mean hydrogen when it talks about that. Is this my light? There we go. Um, 
suitable base location, avoid private facilities. We don't have to worry about pri um, pirates on this scenario, so that really doesn't apply. Um, so I guess we're going to go look for ore deposits, see if we find anything close by. Um, this machine, it does have a nuclear reactor, but you only get a tiny bit of uranium, and there's very little uranium on the planets here. It's like the lottery if you find any. So we're going to have to set up some solar um, pretty quickly to generate power in that method um, and work that way until we can get a good source of uranium or hydrogen uh, to work from. Actually, I don't know if hydrogen can power anything besides thrusters. Um, there's a vent that provides air. Because we're in uh, Earth, it just basically blows air inside the ship when it's on airlock. Um, what do we got down here? We got a medical bay, so we can uh, heal up. Let's go ahead and change our skin really quick. We'll get nice yellow. That's difficult to tell with so much saturation. Let's turn the light off. Um, so, yeah, kind of a yellowish saturation value. Yeah, looks, looks good. Um, so we've got an assembler, we've got a refinery, we've got some batteries, you can see they're already starting to drain. Um, the medical bay, we've got a storage container, what does this come with? Oh, look at all that stuff, holy crap. All of that in there, plus we're going to be able to grind down the ship and take its resources. A gyro, a programmable block, what has this thing got in it? Let's see, let's edit the code. Nothing, okay, <laughs> so it's really no point in there uh, having that. So we might as well turn some of the stuff off that we don't need. So let's look at it. Um, landing gear's fine. Air vent, I really don't care about you. Um, assembler, nope. All the batteries, let's just turn them. Let's turn a bunch of them off right now and leave battery four on normal mode. Um, this would be the beacon, which takes a lot of power. Four kilowatts, we can turn that off. Flight seat will leave on so we can recharge our suit. Gyro, I could care less. Interior lights, I don't even see them. There we go. Landing gear, off, I think. Yeah, nothing's going to push us, so we should be fine. We're not on a slope. Uh, thrusters, definitely off. LCD panels, off. Medical room, on. Um, ore detector, let's leave that on just to see if we get, well, all we know is we've got ice. So we know we got ice, that's fine. And we don't need oxygen. Programmable block, refinery, off. All of these guys off. <laughs> it's just, yeah, pretty much everything is off. And timer block off. So the only thing really that are on is the door, which, oh, I need a light. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, the door's not going to last very long here. And goodbye door. Cool. <laughs> we didn't need that. Put all that in there. We don't need a gun because we've got no aliens here. Um, yeah. So now we're conserving power. Our batteries shouldn't go down. Which one is battery for? You are probably the one that's right under this ramp. There's a battery under there. Um, yeah, okay, let's head outside and, and see what we can see. It's d not much until daytime. Um, it's just ice. So what's the plan? Well, first we're going to obviously come down here. Should we just build on the ice? I think we could start on the ice. Um, I, might, I might wait until daytime just to see. Because I, you know, there might be a really cool view or, or something on one of these mountains that'll that'll look better to build a base on. So, let's hold off building the base for now. What I do want to do is just start dismantling this ship because I don't need it. It's a it's only got atmospheric thrusters, which can't get me to space anyway, and I don't really have a way of generating power for it to make it fly around very well, and it's heavy as crap. So, well, I think we're just gonna start demolishing the thing. Just like so. <laughs> Obviously, we need to get up a little bit higher to get those atmospheric thrusters on the top. So what I was thinking we'd do there is take off you and you. And we'll go ahead and, let's see, hit G. Get a slope block here. And just go ahead and put some slopes. Now we can run up to the top. 
disintegrate this guy. I've got inventory set up to the maximum because I, I just hate running back and forth. I'm so bad at remembering what stuff, uh, materials, things take that really a small inventory, all it does is make me run back and forth. And <laughs> it's just bugging me. All right, so let's start throwing all this in there. Oh, you won't fit? Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah, I think the whole ship will fit in that one cargo container. <laughs> Gotta love the realism there, right? And we gotta watch how we destruct it so we don't, like, have things falling down on the ground. Um, but yeah, all these thrusters are worthless here. And, like, this big old window we don't need. Oops. I screwed up. <laughs> I've already left let things start falling on the ground. Come on. A little bit of lag when, uh double clicking stuff into an inventory. I'm not sure if that's caused by the new patch or something, but. All right, where's the stuff that fell? Whoa, that made a huge dent. Where did it go? It fell through the, <laughs> it fell through the world or through the, uh, the block. Can I grab you please? Any day now, there we go. Let's throw that stuff in there. Um, one thing we do have our jetpack off because if you turn it on you can see just in those two seconds or split second i turned it on my hydrogen went from 100 percent to 86 percent there are a few bottles in the ship that we can replenish it with but yeah it's not it's not a good thing to use it it, it just runs out way too fast okay so it looks like we've got a sunrise coming up that direction so we should be able to see this i'm definitely in the middle of the lake that's that's pretty nifty just by blindly flying at night into this thing, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. Holy crap, that beacon is a lot of blocks. It filled up my inventory already. Just good thing I, oh, it's these, uh, what are these? Uh, um, oh yeah, these uh, radio communication components are heavy, 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 heavy. Lots of volume as well. All right, so we'll get a nice view of the sun. I'll go ahead and I was gonna cut, but since the sun's rising, let's just let it rise on us while we're yeah, we're almost already full again. Um, yeah, we'll let the sun rise so we can take a nice view. If there's nothing to see, then I'll cut and just completely tear down the ship, basically. Let's go take a look now that we've got some light. So ore generation is random, and you can kind of spot it by darker um, version, you know, I don't know, darker textures. So it doesn't mean like a lot of those are shadows of trees, but right there, I'm thinking it looks like a grass texture, but then there's like a darker texture that could be shadow. It might not be that kind of, I don't know, it might be shadow. Can't really tell until we get close, but we do have the built-in ore detector of our drill so we can fly over there. One of my first goals is going to be to get up a base with solar power. And then second hand, I'd like to build a rover with an ore detector so we can dro drive around and explore. Um, but it does look like there's a nice um, ramp to get up onto the mesa there or onto this hill. Where are the mesas? Maybe they were over that way. Um, but yeah, we can drive a rover up there without worrying about crashing. Um, yeah, so let's, let's just keep destroying the ship. It'll probably take me most of this 20 minute day and 20 minute night to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. And when you come back, most of this should be completely gone. So be right back guys. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, sun is coming up on the second day of our time on the planet. You can see I've stripped down this entire ship, landing gear and everything. It was fun. I uh, punctured the landing gear and the whole thing just flopped down on the ground. And I was thinking I could just um, use this to start my base and just start building. But the problem is this, this thing thinks it's a ship which means it cannot interact with the ground. I can't like place a, gr a block below here that's in the ground, whereas if I do a station, um, I can. I can put it like in the sunken in the ground or whatever. So there's that. Then there's also if I, uh, this thing is gonna have gravity on it. So if I build it over and then something up, it might, the whole thing might tip. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new base. Now the problem with that is these, right now I've got two batteries left. I accidentally got rid of two of them. <laughs> um, 
These two batteries, this one's mostly full, and I think that one is full. Oops, and now I'm stuck in a hole. Awesome. Um, grinder to the rescue. So, if I start a new base, I can attach solar panels to it, but I've got no way of storing the energy in a battery. Because if we look at battery, uh, that's not a battery. Um, what is this thing called? It is a battery. Okay, never mind, it just looks different on a on a station than, than the graphic shows. So that's fine. But the battery on a station takes 120 power cells. Now you'd say normally, right, I had two and I ground them down, right? Shouldn't I have enough to make two more? Well, the problem is when you grind power cells, you get scrap metal. You don't get actual um, power cells back. So that's no good. Was I just like wobbling right there? Oh, maybe it's me breathing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it looked like the whole world was wobbling. I get weird lighting issues, too. Yeah, just see that shadow that just kind of stretches across the screen. Yeah, I like that. What? What is that? Just every once in a while, the whole place just blinks. Ah, oh, that's a pain in the butt. I think it's just the lighting update. I don't know, maybe my computer's having trouble. Um... So what were they saying about these batteries? I've got to get enough to make a battery, basically. So let's look at battery again. 120 power cells. Oh, and I I don't know. I no longer have an assembler. So I don't even know what power cells have, <laughs> are made of. Okay, well, we're going to have to do that. But I think they're materials that we can go farm. Or we might be able to... Um, decommission some of the stuff. I can't even remember what the proper term is. Deconstruct, that's it. <laughs> Back into its original forms. We do have 40 power cells. Um, so we're well on our way. That's what we started with. That's enough to make th two batteries on a small ship. So if we wanted to make a rover, we could make a battery there. Um, but look at this stuff. We get 7,600 steel plates. <laughs> a ton of computers, solar cells, all kind of stuff. So let's get our solar going now because the sun's already up. Um, we're going to want steel plates... Um, to start it, let's get a stack of, or no, not 10, a stack of solar cells there. Um, what else are we going to need? We're going to need computers, construction components, um, probably some motors, some, probably some small tubes and large tubes. Sure, that's going to be a good start. All right, and let's just make this out in the center of the lake. I think it's fine. We can drive around to the, the mountains around us, and this will be really smooth to drive a rover around on. All right, so we'll hit a G and hit new station. And here's the thing about these planets. They're not spheres. As much as space engineers developers would like you to believe they accomplished the miracle of making a spherical planet in a voxel-based world, they did not. The planets are, in fact, cubes. However, they have hand sculpted the mountain ranges to give you the opinion or the the appearance that they are are um, in fact round. Um, you can tell based on this lake; it's completely flat. There's no curvature to it, even though this planet is relatively small for this wide of a distance. I can see the edge of the world, right? That wouldn't happen. So they are very big planets, 120 meters or 120 kilometers diameter. But they're not big enough that you you don't notice the cubic nature of them. <laughs> the other thing is a lot of people that I've watched Let's Plays of already that have been playing planets say that the worlds are procedurally generated. That's just false. They are sculpted with a uh, voxel editor. All these mountain ranges, that's not, that's not procedurally generated. There's a height map they applied to a cube, <laughs> basically. Um, but other than that, you can... Uh, the ore deposits are procedurally generated. I think some of the the trees and foliage are maybe the biomes. I'm although I doubt it. I think the biomes might generate based on the height and the terrain around it. Who knows? Enough of that. Let's put down this this thing. If you hit B, it'll align with your your vertical, whatever your you know you think is vertical. And let's just go ahead and place this right here. All right, there's our ship or our station. So what I'm gonna do? Let's. Uh, I don't want the station to be blue. It's got to be yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow station. There we go. Um, let's just put out uh, a couple blocks here. Can I? Uh, I wish I could build um, areas at once, but I think you can only do that in creative according to what you guys have told me in comments. So there's a little five by five. Uh, let's it'll act as the center of our base. 
Let's build our um, solar cells over this direction. We'll go ahead and put a, oops, this guy here. Rotate the correct direction, please. There we go. All right, so we'll get that going up to give our panels a little bit of, of oomph. Now, which direction is the sun going? It seems to be heading, just put our point, pointer in the center and see where it goes. All right, it's definitely going this direction. So I should have, I should have aligned this with the sun better. Well, that's okay. We can put our solar panels out that way. They should get the maximum reach here. So let's go, let's go up one more. Rotate you around. Like so. And then we'll put a, another block here. Now if you crouch and go to the edge, sometimes you can place a block without falling off. Oops, I had it. There we go. Nope. Ah, darn it. I think my feet are in the way. Come on, place. All right, fine. We'll just jump and do it. I've seen it work. I, I've done. I've done it. <laughs> it's not quite like Minecraft, where you're kind of hanging over the edge of the thing. Can I even not I jump onto the stupid thing? Um, but you can kind of creep along the edge of a edge of a thing. Let's see if we can get. It. Oops. Nope, not gonna happen. So how do we want to put these panels on, and how many of them? I think it gives you enough material for six of them. So if we just create a little walkway here. And then we attach, let's go for symmetry. So this will be our center. We'll attach one here. So that's number eight. I've already got them lined up. And let's see, I want the indicator on that side. There we go. Well, just like that. All right, so there's the center. Put it right there and right there. There's two of them. Let's put another one. Should we use a gap? Yeah, might as well have a little gap there. There's three, and we'll go for four. So I'm gonna need that one there, add a nice little block, and there we go. We got four solar panels active. Well, built. <laughs> I cannot jump onto that stupid little thing, that's crazy. Okay, so now let's get welding these. Let's see what we forgot to bring. Are you kidding me? I brought everything I needed to bring. That is a freaking miracle. All right, so this is now done. It should start lighting up with sun power. Where's the sun? Yeah, we might get to two bars, maybe three. And yeah, we got to three, cool. I doubt it'll get to four. Four is usually only when the sun is straight overhead. That's how much, of, that's like its efficiency rating basically. There is ways where you can put these on like uh, rotors so that you can like angle them towards the sun at different times of the day. That's a little bit more complex than I want to get into right now. Right now, I just want to get <laughs> get some of these built and collecting some juice. All right, there we go. We're going to need more uh, solar cells, but those things are, have, are large, so I couldn't co collect that many in my inventory. You can only hold about 150 or so. But we got everything else. That's pretty amazing. So we just need to bring over another 64 times 3 solar cells, or even less than that. To get these working so let's head back to our ship kind of looks like a little boat floating in the water right now <laughs> should we make a pirate ship that would be pretty cool <laughs> all right so i can put all this away let's keep um some steel plates just in case and we'll grab as many of these as we can yeah 180 max us out so oh that should this should be enough for the next the last two here and didn't we say we're gonna build six whoops Oh, well. All right, you're going. You are going. And the sun's going down. We're already to one bar. So it looks like we're not going to generate that much power tonight. And even if we did, there'd be nowhere to store it. So, yeah, let's let's add two more because we're going to need as much power as possible. Um, let's see. I like the sound walking along the ice, crunch, crunch, crunch. Do you think my like uh, planet my, or my base might get too heavy and like fall through the, the ice? That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, can I orientate this guy again in as few turns as possible? Oh, 
we're so close. Oh, yeah. We need construction components. Dang it. <laughs> there is a warning that this ship will despawn. However, I don't think it will. Um, but that would really suck if it did because all our stuff is in this cargo container. All right, so we need more solar cells, uh, computers, large plates, or large tubes, small tubes, construction components, and some motors, maybe? What am I missing? I'm always missing something. Don't need those, don't need those. Okay, that should be it. All right, are you still or 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 uh, I can't even say the word. Oh well. There we go. Put these last two on here. Now each of these generates up to what ninety or hundred megawatts, depending on this this location of the sun. Most of the time we'll be getting around sixty when the sun's up and zero when the sun's down, right? But that's okay. This will be good. So our next order of business is to put a few things onto our base. Uh, we'll need an assembler so that we can see what we need to craft to make a battery. I can't remember what the solar cells need. Um, and then we'll need to start decomposing or go and look out. Deconstructing or going and looking for uh, ore. So let's go ahead. Do I need... Will power transfer through blocks that aren't done? I think it will. I don't remember. But let's go for that. So let's put on here an assembler. This is going to be temporary. Uh, sounds good right there. What do I need to build this? More steel plates. Why is that so? I can barely see. There we go. More steel plates and displays. Okay. I got plenty of that. Okay, steel plates, displays. I love the detail on the inner side with the little cranes and the uh, conveyor inside it. Okay, so let's uh, get onto our base here. Um, how are we going to interact with it? Okay. That's uh, an oversight. Uh, we're going to need a chair, I guess. Oh, no, we can interact with this. Uh, where's the little panel? I didn't really or worry about putting that the right way. Okay, so we've got solar panels right now, zero power. That's fine. Our assembler, good production. Here's what we want to do. We want um, solar cells. No, we want the battery ones. Where are they? Power cells, right there. They take iron, silicon, and nickel is what we're going to need to make. Or... Uh, you can disassemble, that's the word I was looking for, disassemble other stuff. So we've got tons of, what has nickel, uh, what was it, nickel and silicon. We can do some, no, we don't have a lot of displays. We have a lot of this, cobalt nickel, that's good, silver nickel. What has silicon in it? Oh, do we have tons of that reactor? We, I think we do have a lot of reactor components. Uh, oh, radio communication tower. We have tons of those, and they're worth a bunch of silicon. Okay. So we, I, th I think we can get it. Just, do we have any solar cells left over? I don't think so. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go ahead and put down a battery here to start charging once we have it done. Oops, we've already got it on our slot. So battery, let's see, where should we put those? Should we just put those like hanging down from where the solar panels are? Like maybe in between them? Or we could put them even right here. That might look decent. Or we could just have a big battery cell, like a bunch of them. <laughs> Alright, for right now, we're going to put that underneath the ramp. It's the troll. It's battery troll. Alright, so 120 power cells and the 10 computers. Alright, the other thing I would like to put down temporarily would be a storage container. Back in the name of it. A small conveyor. No, that's not what I want. Container. Cargo. That's what the name is. Cargo. 
So we just need a small cargo container. We will put it right here. Interior plates, of course. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another cut as an, I ferry stuff off of this ship and onto the uh, the new base. It's going to take a while because i got so much stuff in here. Um, so I needed interior plates. And I needed some computers. Was I out of computers? Yeah. We'll probably need some bulletproof glass maybe and some metal grids. Let's look at this thing. Yeah, metal grids for sure. Small tubes, motors, displays. Motors, small tubes. I think I've got everything I need for this container. All right, are you oriented the right way? Yes, you are. Ah, we didn't bring enough construction components. Bummer. I do have the computers I need for you though. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Well, let me ferry this all over, and we'll be right back up when the next uh, the next sunlight comes up, and we'll go uh, try and get this assembler online and decomposing stuff, disassembling stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna say the wrong word all the time. Oh well. Uh, we ran out of construction parts. So yeah, I'll be right right back, guys. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, we are back. The sun has just risen, so we're starting to get some power coming out of our solar cells. Let's go take a look. They should all be at like two right now. Yep, they'll hit three in just a minute. Sweet. So half efficiency, that are about 50 kilowatts of power. Um, let's see how they are doing. Um, solar panel. Yep, maximum right now is 60, but they're only outputting 170 watts. That's probably because they got nowhere to go. They're probably powering the assembler. Yeah, one kilowatt. Max required and required. I don't know. I think I need one kilowatt, which I should be able to produce, right? Because I've got, yeah. I think that all five, all six of them combined are providing that one kilowatt it needs just to like stay online. But okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some disassembling to get what we need. I think I've decided to disassemble the radio commission communication components. Let's do 10 of those. There you go. It's going offline and offline as the power comes. Um, what did it? What the heck? That's not what it should give us. Okay, there we go. I was like, what the heck? It sent five more. That's, oh, I was really confused. There's our iron and our silicon. Okay. And then we'll need nickel, right? Because let's go into production of power cells. We need silicon, iron, and nickel. So what can we disassemble for nickel that we have tons of? We've got uh, detector components. I think I'm going to need those because I'm going to build an ore detector soon. So let's look for something else. Explosives. <laughs> um, you have nickel. Medical components. No. Oh, we have we got a lot of these. Should we do like uh, 10 of those? There we go. I how it grabs more than it needs. It's like, why did you grab that much? Anyway, okay, so now we have all that stuff. We should be able to now say, I would like some power cells, like a hundred of them. There it goes. Oh no, not disassemble, assemble. Oh, oh crap, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> assemble a hundred of those. And you can see it's gonna take a lot more than what we have. Wow. We might not be able to get enough just based on what I've disassembled so far. <laughs> we are already out or we're already out of power. Nope, we're out of silicon and nickel. Okay, well, we crafted a few. I think we started with 40, now we have 50. So <laughs> just from that stuff, we made 10 extra. Hey, where's my tools? Oops, I left my tools. I left my tools back at the boat. All right, give me my tools back. And it was it needed 120 of these? Was that the case for one battery? And we're at 50. <laughs> okay, 
So we need 70 more. Let's queue them up just so we know how many we need. Um, get, we need 10, 20, 34, 50, 60, 70 more. Okay. And that's how much uh, iron, silicon, and nickel we need. Let's try and get the silicon and iron first. We know we could get that by disassembling these guys. So let's just do them all. Okay, how are we doing there? Okay, that gives us a little bit. We are still running low on silk and nickel. So that weighed much. 15? It made 15 is all. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, disassemble some more stuff. Let's disassemble a bulletproof glass. Do we have a lot of that? Because that gets us that could give us quite a bit. How many of bulletproof glass do we have? Oh we had a ton. We had like five hundred. Okay, we're way over how much silicon we need. Oh my goodness, that gave us so much. Okay. Let's work on getting 183 more iron. So, oops. I've got plenty of stop. Stop. Okay. So, production disassemble. We need 150 more iron. Where can we get that? It was iron and nickel. That gives us 10 for every one, so we need 15 of these. Should give us enough. Come on, disassemble. All right, we're really close on that at least. So maybe one more. Oh, 10 more, whatever. And we got extra iron. Okay, we're good on that. And lastly, the nickel. Uh, oh, this has got nickel and magnesium. Did we bring over the bullets? There we go. Give us that iron and nickel. Why is it doing that? Is that because the sun's going down? Oh, that's loud. <laughs> that's really loud. Oops. That is really annoying. And it's given like no nickel at all. Okay, that's probably not what we want to be doing. All right, so cancel that. All right, what actually has a decent amount of nickel? Mm, there we go. Let's do these. So let's do... Let's start with 50 or 60 motors and see where that gets us. I don't know why it's making that horrible racket. I need to put those scripts back in that we had last time. Um, I took almost all mods out. I, I took every mod and script out just to start with here because I didn't know which ones would be broken with the new update. I figured with such a large update it would have broken a lot of things. All right, so get those back in there. And the control panel, how are we doing? Can we do them? Oh, yes, we've got everything we need. Sweet. <laughs> what is with this power setting here? Solar panels, three, assembler. They're doing... Oh, they're producing very little power right now. They might not produce any because the sun's going down. Dang it. I don't know if we got them all done. We got half of them done. Not enough power. Okay, well, the last 45 will have to wait for the morning. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of um, finish playing through the night here and get these last power cells done. So in the morning we can install that battery and we'll start actually saving some of our juice that we're making. And then we'll go through a whole cycle of the day and see how much of the battery it fills up and see if we need to make more or if we're good to go start building our rover. Whoa, that was freaky. That tree made a shadow on that thing so hope you guys enjoyed my new start sorry that season one kind of ended abruptly but i really wanted to get into planets since that's all the rage right now 
We got an eclipse. Oh, that's beautiful. There's a planet. That's oh, awesome. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Completely free. And I'll see you next time in Space Engineers. Catch you guys later.